Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Recently, there is a, a big uh, uh, tendency towards failing in some international exams. And one of the exam which is uh, where in, 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 in market, if all, everyone is talking about it, is FCAI. Okay. So FCA is Fellowship College of Anesthetist Ireland. So actually, uh, when when we talk about this exam, we have to consider one important point is there is a basic difference between uh, uh, training system and education system of different countries. Like in UK and Ireland, there are so many exams which anyone can do like MRCP and MRCOG. There is a big list of exam, FRCS. So they are, these are all exams only okay so their value without training is only smiling okay there is no value of these exams alone unless you have got any training training back in your country and you are already uh, registered as a consultant and now you want to uh, to have some uh, some international exposure of the examiner and examination system and everything this is the only advantage this is uh, it, uh, yes and another thing it will give you like if you specifically talk about FC, FCI, it will give you exemption for GMC, okay? Because for Pakistani people doing FCPS, uh, they are already exempted up till now, FCPS in anesthesia, they are exempted from Irish Medical Council registration, which is the, the basic uh, country of origin for this degree. So, but of course, if you have done FCAI, you will get MCI as well, uh, sorry, this IMC as well. But uh, there is a preliminary exam, or you can say the membership exam that is called as MCAI, okay? So MCAI is, is Membership College of Anesthetics in Ireland. So there are certain condition in which you are only doing MCAI and you will get IMC registration. You don't need to have FCI. But for uh, GMC, you need to do uh, FCI along with the language exam that is OET for the GMC and uh, IELTS preferably for uh, IMC because IELTS requirement for UK is uh, 7 and 7.5 overall which is difficult so for UK OET is a better exam and for uh, Ireland IELTS requirement 6.5 each and 7 overall so which is relatively easier uh, so I think it is better to go for IELTS for uh, Ireland and uh, for uh, UK you should go for OET. Okay, so coming to FCAI. So people who pass it, unfortunately, they just try, try to create a hype that it is something out of the world. Remember one thing, it is not at all like I, I can, I can, I have no doubt that anyone who, who is uh, passing even MCPS exam uh, has all the talent to pass this exam. There is no difference. Yes, what is the difference? You can say that actually the difference between our part of the world and the FCI will be that their exam is more organized, more methodical, okay? And uh, there is uh, like less of bias uh, with reference to patient because they, they don't have the patient bias. Like there is no, there in their exam, their oral part, there is no physical uh, uh, patient, okay? So they give you the data so that bias is finished because in our part of the world, sometimes patient bias is there. So patient bias, if you if you get a patient who is not cooperative and if you, if you get a dummy patient who is not telling you the things nicely, unfortunately, you may fail. And this is not because of your uh, clinical knowledge or anything. Yes, communication skills matter, but uh, in FCI, there is no patient. So this is... Then another uh, difference I will tell you that which is uh, creating problem for these days that because these days FCPS or MCPS or uh, some of like uh, MS has written, but they don't have the written, okay, in which there are SAQs. So what is the advantage of SAQs? Now you people are only doing this uh, single best answer, SBAs and VCQs, what you say very frequently, best choice questions. Unfortunately, you are not uh, preparing in that much detail, okay? Because uh, 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 when you are preparing for SAQs, you need to write. You write a, a short answer question. For that, you need a little deeper knowledge in the sense that you, you should have clear concept. Otherwise, you cannot write in detail. You cannot uh, chalk out a plan. 
So this is the difference that short answer questions are there uh, in uh, FCI, which are not there in uh, our FCPS or MCPS. So that is a thing which you have to prepare. This is number one difference, number one. And number two here, uh, because uh, unfortunately, everyone in Pakistan, they are pre they are just worshipping Borgen and they are studying PO and they are studying Atkin Head, okay? And they are studying Stalting. So actually, uh, the, the this is the big difference now you will face that usually their, their uh, base knowledge, yes, you can get it from air, but usually they are following the articles, okay? So the articles, that is uh, the review articles. Because there is difference between a review article and a research article. So review articles are the one which you need to know when you are talking about uh, uh, in th this word. When we say, uh, when I say, or when anyone say articles, this is it means understood. This is review article, not research article. Because research article is not of no value. Review articles, yes, because books are written on the basis of review articles. Okay. So uh, if someone's th thinking that I am reading from articles and I cannot quote, this is not BJAA education. Okay, BJA education. And there is, I will show you shortly what articles uh, uh, you can read. Then anesthesia tutorial of the week. Okay, so these are the, they will give you not only the latest updates, they, they will give you uh, the latest information and actually they cover the topic in all the aspects. So articles is the sources. Then there are certain guidelines which they follow like NICE guidelines, AAGBI guidelines. Okay, you need to have a look what is there, written there. Then uh, they have uh, some audits like national audit project. You will find one to six. Uh, you will you have to uh, see about it. And then there are certain college uh, European society guidelines. Okay, European society guidelines for anything. So it is better whenever you find a, come across anything in which you need to see like European society guidelines for. Uh, of cardiology, European society guidelines. So according to similar, like uh, it will depend on the topic. So it is better to see some European society guidelines. Okay. So, and a number of times their questions will be based on that result. Similarly, there is a, a CMAC. CMAC is confidential inquiry on maternal child health. So you should be knowing about it. It's not difficult. It's not, end of the. believe me, it's not at all difficult yet you say no oh my god huh? you don't need to read each and every page of guidelines you just need to see the recommendations okay the buzzwords any charts given in the in even in the articles if you have read from some any book even if you have read morgan no problem you just need to have a look sniff the article scan the article uh, see the key points see the 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 headings and you just extract or note down anything which you don't know before. Any topic which you don't, have not heard before, you just have to extract that. And then you are, will be prepared for it. Okay. So this is the basic difference. Uh, so you, I will just show you, uh, I have already made some links uh, which can help you in uh, like uh, preparing these exams. And it's not at all difficult. Believe me, I don't, I, I have full belief in anyone who has passed FCPS or if you are listening from any part of the world, if you have done your basic exam, whether you are Egyptian, whether you are from India, you can easily do it, okay? So the in this folder, I have put all the articles topic-wise, okay? In this link, uh, I think it's not opening. Okay, so let me show you this link first. So uh, this is the link in which BJ Education, Anesthesia Tutorial of the Week, Updates in Anesthesia, and Anesthesia ICU Journal Best Year. It's a very good, it's a very good academic journal. So if you just read from the, the latest one and go back, you will you will you will be have you will be having a very, very compact knowledge. Okay. So you can just browse through them. Similarly, here, uh, topic-wise articles, all uh, important uh, articles are arranged in topics. So one more thing I want to show you that uh, in this uh, uh, this link, just a second, please. It will come. So actually, uh, the, the uh, uh, there is uh, one important point I want to tell. There are some major units, okay? Like ICU is one of the major unit. Cardio, thoracic is one of the major unit, okay? Then gynae ops is another... Uh, unit then pediatrics is another one okay then neuro is another one these five number six applied basic sciences 
applied basic sciences. Okay. It all includes physics, physiology, pharmacology, basic concepts, monitoring. So one question comes from it. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Usually six questions will be from these. Now the rest of the four topics, usually it may be from any advanced new thing uh, which, which is there in the market. They can ask about, for example, perioperative medicine, for example. I'm just giving you an example. That this is a newer topic. What is the concept of perioperative medicine? Like what is opiate free anesthesia? This this can be one of the topics. Opiate free anesthesia. The one of them, and then one from blood, or you can say transfusions, and I will put liver and kidneys also here. So one of the question will. So usually these are the major units, and the rest of the thing can come from anyone. Uh, but usually one of the topic, one of the questions. So if you are preparing ICU in detail, cardio, yes, yes, critical incidents. Okay, one of the question come from critical incidents. So one of the critical incidents can. So these are the major units which you you should be knowing. And then I will the last thing which I will be just showing you. I don't know what happened to the link. It's opening very slowly. And uh, there are certain books i will just show you in the folder there are some frc mind maps which are very helpful and then the, i will go to books folder and uh, first of all i will show you this saqs books okay because you are not familiar to it so saqs books you can okay so unfortunately i was uh, disconnected so so i will just i was just telling that uh, Major major units which are being asked are ICU, cardiothoracic, tiny of speeds, neuro, applied basic sciences, okay, and critical incidents. So these six, seven, uh, so usually 10 SAQs come. Okay. And then if you will open, go to the books folder, and then you will open the this SAQs books, so you will find a number of uh, new um, SAQs books here. Okay, so uh, short house is one of them. You you should and how you should need to read them. Actually, the thing is that how you need to read is only to look at the question and try to think what will be the answer. If you don't know the answer, then you read about it. Like the thing is that the basic theme is that you don't need to read each and every line. Okay, maybe you know already know the topic. So you just will compare your knowledge because whosoever is appearing in the exam already have a baseline knowledge. So you just have like in the what characteristic 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 neurological changes occur immediately and in the first three months following the transaction of spinal cord at the fourth uh, T four vertebra. So actually, this question is will be revolving around uh, uh, reflex autonomic dystrophy. So here you will find a very compact answer. Uh, like uh, so so this is just an example. So just go through these books, and you can easily do them. And there are some S CRQs books as well. The CRQs books will also help you. And this is called as constructive uh, response questions. So in, in constructive response questions are also very helpful for your preparation. So bottom line, remember one thing. If someone says that FCAI is out of the world and only I can pass this and nobody else can do it, actually he's, he's just trying to He's, he's just trying to prove that he is something out of the world and you are not. No, it's not like that. Believe me, I have passed that exam back in 2016. Uh, believe me, it's not difficult. It's not at all difficult. Anyone who can pass FCPS can easily pass. Well, rather, the message is that who is preparing for the exam, uh, FCPS, if they prepare in a way, they just open these books, CRQ's books and SRQ, uh, this SAQ's books, and even the MCQs books, which are uh, with reference to the FRCA pattern, believe me, it will be very easy. Like here, I have compiled all the books. So if you open this folder, and now, now these books are available everywhere. Unfortunately, uh, when we were preparing, these books were not available frequently, and we ordered all from Amazon. We had to pay very heavy. But now you will find all these books over here. So my suggestion to you, be confident. Uh, glory is waiting for you yes with reference to viva there is no much not much difference other there is you can say there is no um law, patient as i told you and the other the advantage is that here they are asking you in uh, like there are two tables not four tables where you can say that four examiners ask 25 minutes each in pakistan our exam here there will be two table vivas 
to uh, the, there you will find two examiners sitting one of them will be asking three questions and one of them will be asking two questions so it's 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 shorter like it's 50 minutes table viva you can say here in pakistan there is 100 minute table viva that long case is the data will be given to you and you just have to chalk out the anesthesia risk the, the how what investigation you want to need what communications yes but important thing is that uh, like if you follow a pattern it will be very easy for you okay so if you follow a pattern that you you, you should be knowing how to evaluate whatever history and examination investigation they have given you have to uh, create risk assessment and certification and what optimization you can have anticipation of the complications planning of all anesthesia steps maintaining homeostatic condition this is a basic principle and then you will be thinking about pre-op intra-op post-op and patient related surgeon related and disease related so this is a basic principle which you always use and you should not never forget to think about the surgical concerns so unfortunately when we, when we think we we, uh, we we don't think about it and I will highly, highly recommend you, whosoever is appearing in FCI, you are all welcome to contact me anytime. But remember, it's not out of the world. You can do it very easily. It just need a little bit of concentr concentration and confidence. Thank you very much.